Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls ages 11 and 15. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. Today's video is the first video in my homeschool resource spotlight series that I am hoping to bring to my channel where I share one homeschool resource that we just really enjoy or have really enjoyed in our homeschool and today the spotlight is on Tea Time Together. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to thank Juliet at Tea Time Together for sending me three months of Tea Time Together guides and for offering all of you 10% off with code Home with Sarah Jane or by using the direct link in my description box. Please keep in mind that both of these, the code and the direct link, are affiliate links, so I earn a percentage when you use them. But like I mentioned, you will also receive 10% off your first order. So thank you so much, Juliet, and to anybody that chooses to use my links. Let's get started. Tea Time Together is an all-in-one Charlotte Mason style art, music, and poetry study recommended for kids between the ages of 6 and 15 years old, but these are easily adaptable if you have younger or older kids, so do keep that in mind. They do offer 12 months of guides, so January through December, and they also have a special advent option for December if that is something that you're interested in, and you can purchase these individually or as a bundle. Now, when you purchase Tea Time Together, Together, you are purchasing downloadable PDF guides that include everything that you need to do art, music, and poetry study with your entire family in only one weekly lesson. Now, each month's guides has a different theme and focuses on one artist, one poet, and one composer for the entire month, with each weekly lesson focusing on a specific painting, poem, and classical music piece by that month's featured artist. So now, let's take a look at what's included in a month of Tea Time Together. I'm going to be sharing the month of April with you today. So let's get started with their Getting Started Guide. The Getting Started Guide starts with a welcome letter from Juliet, the homeschooling mom that created these beautiful guides. And then you have a How It Works section that includes the recommended time to spend on Tea Time Together each week. There is also a Quick Start Guide with a few easy steps to follow just to get you started. And this is also where you can find the weekly schedule suggestion. There is a page of printing tips and a supplies list, which is pretty much just like teapots, teacups, um, serving trays, you know, if you want to dress up your tea time, um, those are pretty much the supplies that they're recommending here. But of course, that is optional. Now, here's a closer look at the recommended schedule. So as you can see, you only have to incorporate tea time together once a week where you read the weekly guide and a short biography of one of the featured artists. And then if you choose, you can make one of the two recipes that are included in the guides for the week. Now, I love that there are two recipes every week for you to choose from if you want to incorporate food into your homeschool because I love that. We love to get in the kitchen and just have a lot of fun. So we even like to use this time to make these snacks to actually have our tea party. So we just really, really enjoy the recipes that are included. So now I'll show you week one and how it works. And then I'll just briefly show you weeks two through four. Now for the weekly guides, each weekly guide is double sided. And the first side has the painting that you will be studying for that week with some information about the painting and some discussion questions. Now the second side of the weekly guide has this week's poem and the piece of music that you'll be studying with some information there on that piece of music. And you also have a QR code that you can easily scan. So you can also listen to this piece of music without having to stop or look anything up. It's all right here and convenient for you on the guide. And then there is this section at the end that is the convivial corner. Now this is where you can find fun things like quirky holidays, riddles, fun facts about the month. You know, this section is just like more fun than is added to your day. My kids really enjoyed um, celebrating grilled cheese day, which we would have never done if it wasn't on our weekly guide. So that was really fun to have those, you know, quirky holidays to celebrate on here. 
You also receive a print of each of the week's paintings, so you can print as many as you'd like. You can have your kids share, but my kids did enjoy having their own copy of the print. They like to hang it up in their room when we were done with the lesson so that they continue, um, so that they could continue to look at the piece of art throughout the week. So that's how my kids, you know, like to do it. It was just a lot of fun. Now in weeks one through three, you would also read a short biography of either the artist, the poet, or the composer. In week one, we read the Meet the Artist page. So for April, the artist was Claude Monet. So you do have a quote at the top of the page, an overview of his life, some interesting facts at the bottom. Um, you can also find a QR code for a video called Meet Monet. So there are videos included on the biographies as well that you can scan to get a little more information about either that artist, poet, or composer. So we love that add in there. Um, you can find a section on this page that tells you what they were famous for and also where you can find some of their works of art um, and with a QR code that you can scan and actually see more of their art. So we just really, really enjoyed the biographies as well and they were so um, just brief. So it didn't really feel overwhelming or anything like that. So we really, really enjoyed that. And lastly, for week one, you'll also find two recipes. One is a quick and easy option and the other is a more advanced option. So we really, really like that because it didn't matter the level or skill of your child. There is a recipe that, you know, if you have a child that doesn't know much about, you know, cooking or baking, there's an easy recipe option for them to be included. Or if you have a more skilled baker in the kitchen, there is a more advanced option. So we really, really like that. Sometimes we made one recipe, sometimes both, and sometimes we didn't make any. It was really just what we could fit in on that day, but we loved having the recipe added in here. So that is what one weekly lesson of Tea Time Together looks like. So now I will briefly show you weeks two, three, and four. So that is what a month of tea time together looks like. Now this is a newer resource that I just recently added to our homeschool, but I found it while I was researching curriculum and resources for the 2024-2025 homeschool year, and I kind of wanted to give it a try before I decided to add it into the new homeschool year. And we just absolutely fell in love with Tea Time Together. And I just wanted to share that with you in case you were looking for something like this. Now, I hope you found this video helpful. And don't forget to check out Tea Time Together and get your 10% off with my code or direct link. If you do choose to use the link or my code, I just wanted to say thank you in advance. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye.